how energy works in Pokemon Sleep is getting overhauled. We're talking about everybody being affected this time. Welcome back to another Pokemon Sleep video, it's Bro Vinny here. Now everything that I'm going to talk about in this video is all speculative because we haven't actually got any of the new information other than what's said in the developer notes. In actual fact, they've even retracted the developer notes, so it's version 1.1.0. If you click into this, in the English version of the app, you, you won't get very much. But there actually, a few hours ago, there was another developer note somewhere in this area that had a lot more information. But for the English version, they had retracted that note because I think they made a mistake. And the mistake is, again, to do with how many sleep styles are required to reach Lapis Lakeside. There's almost no doubt that it's going to be 240 because all other languages have the same uh, update that said 240 sleep styles except English. English, for some reason, just said, it was the only language that said 230. So it's some sort of strange translation error. Then they took out the ent entire post, but thankfully we have a copy which you can find under sleep info on my discord. And thanks to Rose Lily for always being on top of the info from the game. Now you're welcome to read through this entire thing, but I'm gonna break it down into a few categories for you. So I'm gonna break it down into four categories of changes in this game. Number one, energy changes. Number two, the healing meta changes. Number three, the good or exploit bug fixes and four, the bad bugs fixes. And then we're gonna to touch on some new features as well, which we don't know very much about. So number one is energy changes in this game. Now before this update, how energy works is that whenever you start tracking, your, your Pokemon or your team's energy gets halted. They will farm at that efficiency. So if you don't know, if you're at 100% energy, you're farming at about 2.2 times the rate at which you would farm at 0% energy. So if you go to sleep at 0% energy at this moment before the update, your team will farm at 2.2 times the rate. So basically assuming that they are at 100% energy. And then when you wake up, you'll recover 100% energy, which gets, which gets added on top of what you started tracking sleep with. But apparently this is a bug according to the developers. The developers said that up until now, due to a calculation bug relating to energy consumption, helper Pokemon were not using energy to, to create productions, to create sneaky snacking, which apparently was not meant to be the case. So what's changing now is that when you're sleeping, the Pokemon will actually deplete their energy in order to provide you with berries and productions and ingredients and whatnot. And they very clearly say that you're probably going to notice that you're going to earn less sneaky snacking and total Snorlax strength. And to be honest, the part where they say, oh, it's, it's been recognized as a bug for some time now is because it didn't disadvantage players, so we left it alone for a while. I think that's BS. I think they suddenly realized that people were utilizing this understanding a lot better and didn't want people to be progressing in the game that quickly. So they decided to nerf energy. But what they did say, which I thought was a good point, is that some players were able to accelerate their progress very quickly. So, so what some people were doing, they were basically sleeping most of the day. Because yes, you could only get about 100 sleep score from your eight and a half hours. Any, any more sleep you sleep on top of eight and a half hours won't give you more sleep score. But it actually doesn't stop you from being at the 2.2 times multiplier doesn't stop you from staying at 100% energy, which meant that your Pokemon continues to farm at that maximum rate. Of course, the only downside is, well, when are you gonna wake up to cook your dishes? And, and when are you going to trigger your skills? If these things don't matter to you, if only berries matter to you, and you've got really good berry teams, then this would really help you progress really quickly. And I guess in a way, they were just trying to level the playing field. But in trying to do that, we are all affected. We have all been nerfed because everyone's Pokemon, everyone's teams are going to be farming at a lower energy now when they go to sleep. 
they also brought up a second point, which I thought did it, it didn't sit right with me. Now, this second point is that it, it's saying that if you take a nap, you shouldn't be at an advantage compared to other players who don't take a nap. So if you normally sleep eight and a half hours plus a two hour nap, your overall energy is going to be better than somebody who only sleeps eight and a half hours. To me, that actually makes sense. I, If I was making a Pokemon sleep app that encourages sleeping, I would say sleeping, like not excessive sleeping, but napping in the middle of the day should be encouraged, not discouraged. And from personal experience, if I take a nap in the middle of the day without affecting my entire, uh, without affecting my long sleep, I would feel like I have better energy. I would be more energized to do things, which is a good, it's gotta be a good thing. It's encouraging good sleep. As long as doesn't, as long as it doesn't affect the long sleep, which is why sleep consistency is a thing, which doesn't account for your nap session. So I feel like this point is just an excuse. And then they're very vague about this next point. They said that energy will be restored as usual when the sleep tracking finishes. I don't know if that means that the energy will be added to when you start at sleep or it will be added to when you end sleep. So for those of you who use the Pokemon Go Plus Plus and have seen my video about the bug that affects people who take naps, you understand that energy is added to the end of sleep rather than the start of sleep, unless you use the fix that I provided you in the other video by clearing cash. So I suspect that if that's the case, and I'm really hoping this is not the case, if that's the case, unless you sleep 100% sleep score, there's no way for you to reach 100% energy in the morning because the 100% energy recovery will be added to the end of sleep, which is going to be 0% for your entire team rather than what you started with, which could have been 10%, 20%, 50%, in which case you don't need to do the entire 100% sleep score to get 100% energy in the morning. The, the vagueness of this is in this word, generally. If they didn't add generally, if they just said, yeah, your Pokemon will wake up with more energy in the morning than it did before it goes to sleep, then I would presume that the energy is added to when you started tracking, even though there is depletion of the energy during the tracking. But the generally makes me question whether this means something completely different. Or perhaps it's just a mistranslation from the Japanese developers. So while this fix does prevent people from exploiting this feature of the game, it unfortunately nerfs everybody's strength and sneaky snacking. So if you find that in a previous week, you got like Master 10 for Cyan Beach, probably in upcoming weeks, you're just gonna get about Master 5. Just, just an example of what I'm trying to say. Now the developer is actually very smart because what they did with the update was they listed all the great things first, even though I started this video with all the bad things, so it's got a different tone to it. If you actually read the developer notes in order, you'll see, oh wow, it's got all these great new features. But when you actually put it all together, you realize, hang on, this new feature kind of sucks <laughs> if you think about how much energy is going to be nerfed. And the new feature is that when you cook, your Pokemon on your team will also recover energy, which becomes very necessary at this point because energy recovery is going to be super important. For example, while I previously said that an energy healer, so for example, an energy for everyone healer like Wigglytuff, an energy healer triggering at the end of the day, just before you sleep, has no relevance at all. Well, now it's very relevant because that energy will be used for farming, for sneaky snacking, for helping productions, and so on. In fact, any energy um, healed during the day at any time is going to be helpful. So in other words, anything including from dishes, and the developers say that a small amount of energy will be recovered after eating, well, all of this will be useful added up altogether by the end of the day because it will be used for your nighttime sleep tracking 
Sneaky Snacking and Productions. Again, it's a bit vague. We don't know how much of the energy will be recovered at this point. We'll talk about it at a later video once we figure out the details. But the fact that they said a small amount is not very promising. They do say that if your Pokemon were at low energy, then it will they will recover more energy. So I'm hoping that maybe if my Pokemon has 0%, it would recover 20%. I don't know. It's a pure guess at this point. Now, the second thing I want to talk about in this video is actually not to do with any of the developer notes, but rather talking about how relevant healing is going to be. So I already touched on the fact that Wigglytuff or Dishes healing are going to be more and more useful after the update. But that also means that Pokemon with energy recovery up are going to be better because they're going to be re recovering more energy every time a skill, uh, healing skill triggers. Pokemon that can self heal are going to be better because you're not relying on having a healer on the team to maintain that high energy bonus, that high energy multiplier. Pokemon that have energy recovery bonus Again, we're going to be improving the this, this sleep recovery when you take a nap. But this could be even more important if the energy is going to be, the energy recovery is going to be added to the end of sleep rather than the start of sleep, like I said earlier, because the amount of energy recovered may not take you to 100% anymore. However, this skill remains largely useless if you only sleep one session a day, because even though it's a 1.12 times multiplier, you can't go over 100% sleep energy recovery in one session. And possibly becoming the most important incense of all now is the recovery incense. Depending on how the energy system is going to be implemented, we're going to need this to make sure our Pokemon stays at high energy throughout the day, including before sleeping. So having this recovery incense, maybe for a nap session or for a second session where you've already used some of the sleep score, will help maintain your energy, your Pokemon energy at a high level. Now, the third thing I wanna talk about today is the good bug fixes or the exploits, I should say. Now, we've already covered one of them during the energy discussion, so we're going to skip over that one. The second one is that there was a bug that affected sneaky snacking, allowing some people to be able to exploit sneaky snacking, but only if you were very committed to doing it. So it's called the N plus one bug or feature. And I think this bug was mostly discussed on the math chord. Um, Discord. It wasn't really a thing on my Discord. And I think that's mostly because it just, it takes most of your life away to, to do this bug. You had to, um, so basically every time sneaky snacking is triggered, you actually get one extra helping of berries for some reason. So what you do is you want to re-trigger that sneaky snacking as much as possible, rather than just let the sneaky snacking take a long continuous farming time so you would log into the app to collect that sneaky snacking frequently the next bug i use myself every single week <laughs> i'm not gonna lie here this bug allowed me to cook all of my sunday meals on monday i talked about this in a whole video so you guys should know about this if you've been following me for some time but basically what i did was i allowed my week to start strong rather than end strong because to start a week strong means your entire week will be strong. So all of my expanded pot from Sunday, those meals move to Monday by time zone changes, which apparently they are now going to just prevent you from doing. Then the next one, I actually have no idea what this one is. Somebody enlightened me. There was a bug that made it easy to, for main skills to be triggered when certain actions were performed. If you know, let me know in the comments section below because I, I didn't know about this one. And the rest of the bugs are not as exploitative, so I'm not going to go through everything here. So the final thing, the fourth thing I want to talk about in this video is the one thing that has improved in terms of fixing bugs. Apparently, for some time now, or maybe the entire time, helper whistles 
weren't as good as they're supposed to be. Helper whistles apparently did not account for helping bonus or good camp ticket bonus. So the 3 hours worth weren't exactly 3 hours worth of berries that you get, it was a bit less. And apparently they're going to be fixing it, but in my honest opinion this doesn't make up for all the nerfs that we're going to be getting. And neither does cooking a few dishes to recover some energy. But then again it depends on how much energy is recovered. Which we'll find out in the next week. So that's all I have to say for today guys. Thank you for watching. Remember everything I've said in this video is just based on what I understand from the developer notes. It's all speculative. There's no new data research here. All of that will come after the update is complete. And some new features I'm not going to dive deep into. But basically we're going to get two new sleep style goals. So maybe some more rewards with that. Uh, of course, one of them is going to be at 240 associated with the release of Lapis Lakeside. We're going to get a new ingredient, corn, which I suspect will go with the seven new recipes that we're getting. And I'm going to guess that Dra Dragonite or the Dratini line is going to be ingredient specialist and it's going to get corn as an ingredient list and a new Pokemon sleep sound. Don't forget to like and subscribe.